Hey gang, it's Ark. Welcome back to Orb of Creation. Alright, so in the last episode, we had just gotten going with the rituals here. And we've got some passive soul and ceremony generation going on here. Um, so soul is about to cap out, so I think I'm going to go in and... Um, do a... Let's see, how do I get to the... There's a hotkey for... Yeah, that gets me to my other setup. But I actually need to go over here anyway because we didn't have enough Firebolt spells. So let's move... Um, move this into that position and this over there. These are all efficient Firebolts. So we'll do another one of those. Let's go ahead and get some mana. Uh, let's see. Where is this? Firebolt... Alright, I'm going to let my mana charge up a bit. Yeah, I'm capped on soul right now. Do I even have anything I can spend it on? I don't think so. Not until I get up to 19 ceremony. Some more levels of alchemic command. Uh, I can go ahead and spend that. And... Oh, that didn't give me anything new. That just um, increased the rate of this. Okay, perfect. All right, let's go see about getting into one of these rituals. Let's go ahead and cast one of those while my mana is capped. Rituals. All right, let's get into this one and start casting. Hopefully I did the right one. I'm going to generate some more ceremony, even though I didn't really need to. Looks like that was a mistake, because now they're on such a long cooldown. It's okay, I'll get another chance if I can kill this fast enough, which it doesn't look like I can. Nope, just barely got me. Alright, I could have played that a little better. But we got plenty of ceremony, some more ectoplasm... Now let's go over here. We can get spirituality. Okay, here we go. So now I can buy potential, which gives me capacity for both. That's handy. You can also buy base stability capacity and decrease the rate at which they're at which it's lost. I don't know how useful those are gonna be early on. Maybe if I get enough of them. All right, but I think I want to focus on buying just enough potential. Ooh, this is tempting. I think like I said though, I wanna save this up and really focus on getting the 60 that I need to buy that one upgrade. I think that's gonna be stronger. Alright, so I'm going to buy one more of these so I don't have to think about it for a while, but then we'll spend 19 and 10 for the third level of passive generation. Alright, so now where were we with all this other stuff? This requires level 34. We're almost there. It also requires 700,000. Okay, so that's not going to happen right away. So I think I need to go to the one that increases my capacity. I'm not going to get any of those anytime soon. I'm not anywhere near level 85 in notes. Yeah, I'm going to need to find a way to generate ectoplasm more quickly. All right, we're still pretty much in the same boat there. And this is the one that I want to get. Well... 
kind of at a loss here as to what I should be working on. The thing is, it's going to take me so long to get my knowledge cap up as much as it needs to be. There's level 34 that... The problem with this is that it requires AD ectoplasm, which I'm saving for other stuff. Yeah, okay, so that's clearly the deal, is this is how I'm going to get my knowledge cap up. So I just need to focus on... Okay, I need to get intellect level 70, so that's one more level of this. So I need to be able to afford 62,000 thaumaturgy. Um... I can already do. And then this is... Which one is this? This is Ceremony. So we're almost there. Um, however, I think I'm going to spend this one on the... Passive Generation. We can always um, go through some more rituals. Alright, let's go over to the other loadout slot. Yeah, because I've got cooldowns going on here. Alright, so I think I have a, pa a plan of action. Um, we're going to go to We're going to go for this, which means I need to set up a brainstorm. Mm, I also need to generate 60 ectoplasm. So I guess we're just going to do some more rituals for a while. Once I have 60 ectoplasm, then I can set up the brainstorm. And I actually have enough um have a cap here to be able to afford both of these, even though they're over the cap. As long as the brainstorm is strong enough, it'll be fine. Alright, let's throw a couple more points. I can't do anything there. Um, I guess I need to work on these a little bit. Yeah, these are because I'm trying to brew such a powerful potion. That's a ways off. Alright, let's do this. Let's switch over to the other set of resources. I need to use a mana potion. Um, we're going to run fundamentals. Just think about this for a second. Trying to generate ectoplasm. These both can generate ectoplasm. So this is normal and heavy healer. That gives me spectral dust. All right, well, let's just go for this right now. I need more ceremony anyway. Um, okay, so we'll generate a bunch of blaze. And then let's get into here. Generate Blaze for a second, and then I want to go ahead and quickly try to kill one of these before I get killed by both of them. I think I did kill one. I was certainly close to it. Alright, so that's 5.7 Ectoplasm from that fight. And I'm also getting a bunch of Ceremony. I don't really need the Ceremony right now. Let's just go back and double check what the deal is with that. Um... Actually, do I need Ceremony at all? No, I don't. I just need the Ectoplasm for this. So, in the meantime, we can be spending that on Generation. Alright, so let's just rinse and repeat that until we get this number up to 60. Probably a slightly stronger way to do this, but I'm not going to take the time to work that out right now. 
All right, my blaze, let it get nice and high. Let's get in here and start fighting. Okay, so we're down to our cap now. Okay, so I should cast this. And let's focus on these weaker enemies first. Okay. All right, that went... Oh, that's weird. I didn't get any... Ectoplasm. I guess I just got unlucky with the enemy spawning. Or with the, um... Is it a chance? 40% chance for one ectoplasm. And then heavies are gain 0.7. Okay, so healers give 0.6 ectoplasm by default. And then these are heavies as well. So are healers better than the normal enemies from here? It looks like they probably are. Point 0.6 versus an expected value of 0.4. Actually not that big of a difference. So I think it comes down mostly to whether I could use more ceremony or soul. So the next one is 27 and 15. Um, looks like I need both. All right, well, let's just run this one again. There is an upgrade. It's going to allow me to hold more blaze. Um, shoot, I messed this up. Hopefully I don't get killed by this guy while I'm waiting for my blaze to generate. I think he can actually kill me, yeah. I think he has a really powerful attack. Alright, 4.4 ectoplasm, that's more like it. That's what I was hoping for. Alright, let's do some more mana generation just to get this going. I need to do probably three more rituals, approximately. I'm going to go to mysticism and... Well, I'll wait for this to fill up, and then we'll get another point of generation. I'm casting too many spells here. Oops. Alright, hopefully I can survive one hit from this guy. I think I probably can. He's still level one, so... Alright. Uh, let's take out these back guys. I don't think I'm going to be able to take out the front one. Alright, I'll just generate. I'm not going to be able to kill this guy before he kills me, so... Ooh, eight ectoplasm that time. All right, that was pretty good. Um, kind of messed up. I couldn't make use of that cap. All right, let's do one run of Sarah or um, spirit. Yeah, let's do one run of the spirit gen. Um, all right, so I'm going to do a cast of this. Um, I meant to cast... All right, this is fine. Let's just take a uh, shoot. Let's just take the healer out before I get killed. Um, I think that heavy is gonna kill me. Oh no, I got lucky. Okay, so I might actually be able to kill him before he kills me. Sweet, that's really nice. Uh, this one is really low level. Let's 
generate some more mana. See if we can take out a healer. Okay. Plus 14.9 soul. Okay, so we got our ectoplasm. That's the main thing I cared about. Let's go in here. We're not quite ready for generation, so one point of potential. Um, we'll get this very soon. Let's see, 17. Let's just go ahead and buy one more. Okay. So now we can sit for a bit on a different screen. I believe I want the Mystic Casting. Let's change my loadout back. Alright, so I need to set up a Brainstorm. No, it's the um, Ectoplasmic Memory. Alright, I'm going to let this song play while I set this loadout up. Okay, I think I've got this set up the way I want. Let's take a quick break, head over to Rituals, get one more point of generation. This is starting to move at a pretty fair clip now. Alright, uh, I'm losing track of my plan here, so I believe all I want to do is generate a bunch of Thaumaturgy right now. So, then we're going to get um, Intellect, and then Ectoplasmic Memory. Oh right, I can't do a heavy surged Conjure Energy because I don't have energy. One minor mistake with my loadout. Let's just do heavy. That'll, that should still be enough. Okay, so... Should be able to cast that. Get a bunch of energy. How much does these cost? These might cost too much. Uh, but we have a nice big cap of energy here, so... We're already up to 123,000. Alright. So we're going to tune orb. Um, I'm going to start amassing power... And then we'll let that run down a little. We're at the energy cap. Okay. Hopefully that brainstorm is strong. Oh yeah, it's definitely strong enough. There's intellect. There's ectoplasmic memory. Now I can hold a bunch more. So we can go ahead and do a bunch of these. And intellect. Intellect. Resilience. Intellect. Uh, points of memory. Deep memory. Intellect. <laughs> uh, deep memory. I'm going to keep buying memory and deep memory. Get more wisdom. Um, I think I saw something over here pop up. All right, we're out of energy now. Um, I don't know that I need a third spell book, but this doesn't cost that much. Yeah, I've got plenty of cores. Go ahead and buy it. Let's see, it's going to give me a bunch of mana per second. Oh, so it actually, okay, so where's Aptitude? Here it is. So this is plus 4% resource spell power per level. So this is going to take it up to plus 5%. Alright, and this used to be, I guess, plus 0.5 base mana per second. Now it's plus 1. All right, so my caps increased pretty drastically here. This used to be about 240,000. Now, what did I have? 
We might want to just run the same setup again. Also, I probably want to pick up Mystic Casting here. Let's go over to Rituals. I'm just going to put a bunch of points in Potential. Because I do want to just... Um, once this gets up to 20, I want to buy Mystic Casting. Okay, so Soul Chemist is one thing. I do have the capacity here, so I could just save to get that. That seems pretty good. Um, maybe for right now I should go spend these on some alchemy upgrades. Um, let's see, do I need Thaumaturgy for anything? I guess I'll save it for now. Let's do power and speed. This is total mana per second. Not really what I'm looking for. I'm just gonna buy a bunch of these conducting stations. Alright. That cost was uh, too low to just sit there at that price. Let's see, do scholar books make any impact? Actually a fairly significant impact. Those are really cheap too. Let's just take those up to 50. Anything else that I'm kind of sleeping on here? There's a couple of supply chests. Wouldn't be a miss. Probably should continue to buy this as well. This gives space quality, which will decrease the space prices for everything. Um, we're going to need to start condensing time again, though, because my caps are huge compared to my passive generation. So, let's see. If I go back to wizardry here. I have the cores to buy a bunch of levels of deep memory. So, let's see. How does this work? So this is giving plus 50% base memory effect. Memory is giving... Oh, here's my mystic casting. I was waiting for. Alright, so we can increase... Ceremony gained and... Mana and energy capacity. Not the worst thing, but I feel like that's a slightly later... Oh, definitely. Just going to grab that instantly. Transmutation speed on aptitude. So that's another plus 126% transmutation speed. That's base transmutation speed, which I don't know if that's affected by... Uh, let's see, what is that spell? This is total transmutation speed. This is also total transmutation speed. Yeah, so I think that's a separate stat. So that should be, uh, that should help out a lot. Alright, and then destruction gives combat spell power. So this is interesting. This is not ceremony and soul, it's blaze and soul. some dexterity. This is mana per second and cooldown speed. Pretty good stat to stack up. Probably should get concentration as well. Yeah, spell duration, base mana quality, and control gained. Seems like a pretty good thing. Let's get up to 50 on that. Alright, so memory and deep memory. Let's see just how much of an impact these have. I'm looking at uh, primarily my knowledge. That takes me up 10,000, almost, in terms of capacity. So from 608,000, I need more thaumaturgy. Well, let's just run this brainstorm setup again, and this time I'm going to focus on leveling up memory and deep memory. 
in addition to um, these other stats here. Because these will improve the capacity. Um, I think these were fine in terms of how the generation speed turned out, so I don't think I need to level them up. Let's just go ahead and run through these again. Okay, so we'll cast a Tune Orb, and then start amassing power. And once this starts to run low, we'll brainstorm to generate a huge amount of stuff. Let's just go ahead and pick that up. That's infusion effect. Okay, so deep memory, memory, deep memory. Just level up deep memory as much as I can. Memory. And then we're just gonna run through intellect, resilience, wisdom, etc. Aptitude, sure, why not? More intellect, more wisdom. Okay, I believe we're pretty much... Yeah, we're out. Seems to be everything I could have gotten out of that. Unless there was something on a different page. Ah, Soul Chemist. Darn. Yeah, that was it. I could have purchased Soul Chemist. Oh well, let's go in here and put some points in potential. Does it say improved generation? So where's that upgrade that cost 20 spectral dust? Here we go. Elemental alchemy. So this would allow me to transmute energy and blaze. I think that's a pretty decent target. Just about at control capacity here. Um, if we head in here, we can probably just go ahead and buy I can already afford Alchemic Command. That'll probably take me up close to the cap there. Also, don't we have a uh, structure? Yeah, this increases control capacity. Need to figure out my Elementia situation here. Need to generate more water. Let's go into... Well, we can start off by doing level of efficiency. Now uh, let's just go two levels of efficiency. Then we can do power and another power. Definitely want to get speed as well. And then what else upgrades my transmutations? I think I remember seeing something in these structures here, yeah. Crystallized amber. So, this doesn't seem like it does that much. Yeah, I'm not really excited about that one. Let's go ahead and get at least a couple threading stations. Just to improve prices a little bit. Come back to that when I can get vast quantities of the refined wood resource. Um, all right, let's see. Wasn't there something with amber? Okay, printing station requires ectoplasm. That I don't really care about. Um, capacity for these would definitely be welcome. Can't even afford the capacity right now. Actually, where do I get capacity for Elementia? Is that in the space tab? Yeah, pocket dimensions is what grants that. Can't afford many of those at all right now. I think we're going to have to go on another crafting run. Here we go, blaze crafting. Uh, let's do that. I don't think I was saving this up for anything. 
I'm about to spend 40 soul on that one upgrade and the other thing. So this gives us elemental pooling. Blaze and energy capacity. I think that's all it gave us. At least on this screen. So that requires this new resource, which I believe is craftable. Igneous core. Okay, so unfortunately, both of these new craftable resources require ectoplasm, which is going to be in short supply. Um, Alright, so I can't afford the skill for soul forging. But what I can do is get soul chemist if I run another brainstorm. So let's do that. Um, I've still got my setup here for brainstorm. Don't need to go too crazy with this one. Um, I could check just to see. All right, so I believe I just unlocked these two. Interesting. Anything else cost large amounts of thaumaturgy or something? Maybe in here? Yeah, I could buy some auto magic tomes. Oh, it stopped generating. Guess I can spend some on magic books just so that I don't waste it. going on with my mana here? This is like blinking weirdly. I'm not sure what the deal is there. Alright, how are we doing on wizard wood? That's fine. Let's go ahead and get a couple of carpentry stations to spend that down. I want another supply chest, I think. And what did I decide? No, I want to... Yeah, that's fine. I need to do crafting. I think um, getting this Elementia up so that I can well already lost track of it maybe liquid expansion is what I was looking for yeah so that would require going into here and getting some pocket dimensions and also these these I think increase wait a minute Pocket dimensions. Yeah. These affect these. So if I get more of um, these upgrades, then I'll also get more capacity for all of those resources. Space, wood, water, elementia, and amber. So, um... Yeah, I feel like we're nearing the point where I need to set up a condensed time and empowered smithery in tandem. Oh look, I finished this ridiculous explosive elixir finally. I think I've been uh, working on this for some long period of time. Also, Elementia is now um, being generated at a positive rate. It must have been that upgrade that I purchased that increased my um, transmutation it unlocked these, but it might have um, might have also had a net effect on it. Let's go ahead and get some of these. Um, efficiency is pretty good still, I think. Yeah, it's going to allow me to generate water again. Yep, there it is. And so then I'll be able to spend those on other resources. Yeah, it takes... 24 minutes to craft one of these. Um, that's without the brewing speed bonus from condensed time, though. So it can go a lot faster than that. Um, I don't really want to get this yet. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is um, end the episode here, except I will let this song play out. So while 
Um, that happens. I'm just going to go through and buy some cheap upgrades and kind of look through all the tabs just to see if I'm missing anything obvious. All right. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching.